Stephen game, bruh. So high. Hello and welcome. It's Sunday afternoon football. Dennis Kometi here. Accompanying me is Matthew Richardson. How are you, Dan? I'm happy to be here today. Unfortunately, I never got the chance to play in a dream time at the G match, Dennis. It's definitely one of those matches that all players want to play in, and the spectacle always turns out to be a cracking one. Today it's the Crows versus the Tigers. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. We have the toss of the coin. The Crows winning the toss. Waiting for the siren now. And away we go. Jacobs with the hit. Jenkins made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Gets it away in the nick of time. McIntosh with no time to delay with that kick. Martin bumped off the ball. The loose ball scooped up. Takes possession. He takes control of the loose ball, finding the running player. Caddy just makes the goal line. Goal. That's the first one of the game. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Nan Curtis, nicely outclassing Jacobs, squeezes out a handball, don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack, kicks it. A mark by Douglas. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Not the easiest of angles this one, he's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Adelaide with their first goal. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Jacobs has such great hands. He always gives his team first touch, and he seems to always know who's in the best position to receive those clever touches. Interception, Crouch, collects it. Jenkins is bumped off the ball. Betts goes for home. Betts goes long and gets the goal. The Crows are really looking the goods with the lead over the Tigers. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Jacobs is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Atkins missed the ball. Betts kicks the ball. Grigg marks the ball. He's got a hold of that one. Nan Curvis with the mark. He slams that on the boot. He takes a strong mark. Edwards kicking the skin off that one. Great mark. Lambert just gauging which way that wind is blowing. A risky proposition from here. You'll need a big kick to make the goal. It's kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. Levex, a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Brown kicks it. That's a nice, strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Crouch takes a contested mark. He gets boot to the ball. A great mark under pressure. Slams it on the boot. Great mark under pressure. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Booted by Prestia. 
Townsend wins the marking contest. Townsend is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Edwards trying to level the scores now. Rioli picks up the loose ball. Hardigan mops up the ball. Lever passes it. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. He slams that on the boot. Kept his composure then. Puts boot to ball. The Crows are in the lead by six. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. Here's Richo with his stats. It appears Adelaide have the upper hand in handballs, leading with 13. The Tigers go all over the opposition players like a rash when it comes to tackling. The second quarter begins. Second quarter action underway. Man Curtis. Timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Crouch making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. Two goals up for Adelaide. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Nice bounce. Tap by Nankervis. He gains possession. Martin going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short. Tactically this week. Too far out to score, sure. Richmond will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. Richmond could just been poor at reading the ball off the packs. They need to get back to basics and try and generate some forward run and carry. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Effective hit out there. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Prestia loves the physical side of the game. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Nan Curvis gets onto the ball. Sending it on its way, he scoops up the loose ball. Puts boot to ball. Betts with the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Lynch marks it. Lynch launches one towards goal. Lynch scoring from a long bomb. Adelaide with a two-goal margin at the moment. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Good tap from Jacobs. He's got the footy in his hands. Goes for the safe option. Kick short. Talia is starting to get a lot of the football. Nan Curtis tries his luck along the ground. Riddle gets a nice bump from Lever. Finding the running player. A rushed kick. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. It looked like a goal, but it grazed the post. Two goals can bring this back for Richmond. Disappointing kick there. Hardigan has his feet firmly on the ground and is just a great leader around the club. Knight takes the mark. He gets boot to the ball. Cameron with the mark. He gets boot to the ball. Great hands. He kicks the ball. Crouch takes the uncontested mark. Kicked in a flurry. Great mark over the pack. Hooley can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. It's a mark. Passes by hand. He gathers up the intercepted ball. Knight mops up the ball. Prestia onto the ball. It hits its target. He's got a handball away. Hand passes to the running man. Works it across the ground. Laird marks. Kicks. McIntosh gets the upper hand. He has a mighty kick of the footy. Lambert presents and takes the mark. Kicks it. Nice mark there. Seconds remaining in this quarter. He boots it. Is it? Is it? Butler. You get the feeling something big is brewing.
You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Jacobs knocks it down the field. Bumps the big skin. Nice contested mark by McIntosh. Bumps the big skin. And that's the half. Adelaide 24 took the Tigers 19. Stay tuned for the halftime show. What? There's no halftime show. Seriously. Time to check the stats, Richo. With stats like that, it's hard to imagine how the scores are so close. Thanks, Richo. One half down, one to go. Crowd anxious. Let's get into the second half. How you respond to the challenge in the second half will determine what you become after the game, whether you're a loser or a winner. Clean pick up by Prestia. Rantan passes the ball to the runner going past. I don't know if you can see it from back there, but it's a goal. The first goal for Grants. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Talia on the ball at the moment. He's running hot, Richard. He's been outstanding all match, Dan. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Slams it on the boot. Leave it, the better man there. Leave it. He's a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. Talia puts his boot on it. That's a mark. Puts boot to ball. A good contested mark there. Crouch with the kick. Great mark. Slams it on the boot. He wins the contest. Works it across the ground. Wins the hard ball. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Marks. Asprey sends one up towards the wing. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. He has the ball. And the wrist pays off. Goal. Adelaide take back the lead. Crouch has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Jacobs has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Knight kicks it. And the ball goes out of bounds. A good hit out there. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. Atkins holds his breath. Atkins gets a huge goal. That's two in a row for Adelaide. Adelaide leads by 11. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Rams looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. Jenkins puts it on the boot. Great mark over the pack. Jams it on the boot. Great mark under pressure. Hooley slams it on the boot. The contest, no match for him. The Tigers just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. He boots it. Betts with good, strong hands. He slams that on the boot. That's a mark. Lovely drop punch. Brig gets the upper hand. Kicks to the square. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Rand speeds it wide. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. The contest, no match for him. Gets boot to leather. McCabe marks. Choose to kick it. Nice mark under pressure. Works it across the ground. There's the siren for the end of the third quarter. The scores at Adelaide 36 to the Tigers 25. Well, a win is in sight for Adelaide, but you can only become a winner if you're willing to walk over the edge. 
so they will have to ensure they remain committed in the last quarter. Richo has some stats for us now. It appears the Crows have the upper hand in handballs, leading with 28. Thanks for that, Richo. The pressure's on, it's the final quarter. What makes something special is not just what you have to gain, but what you feel there is to lose. Collected by Gotcha, bumps the pigskin. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Slams it on the boot. Takes that one strongly. Asprey keeps that one low. Nice hands. Hotchin always has the ball on a string. Martin with the mark. Martin shoots for goal. Martin gets the goal. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Jacobs gets onto the ball. Was that a throw? I think it was. Jams it on the boot. Nice mark there. Jams it on the boot now. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Martin with a clinical drop pass. Nice hands. Caddy shown a lot of character with his recent performances. He takes the contested mark. Puts boot to ball. Rioli with a strong mark. Rioli kicks for goal. He's rammed that one into the woodwork. The lead is easily in reach for the Tigers. I would have expected him to nail that. Drops the mark and the crumb is awaiting. Lever chucks the ball away. Gets the loose ball. Rioli gets the ball. With the ball now. Atkins onto the ball. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. Jacobs, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. Man kills. Controls. Pass by Lever. Jams it on the boot now. Snatches at it and drops it. He's as twitchy as a frog in a blender. He taps the ball. He's got the footy now. He boots it. Prestia gathers the ball. Jacobs with the ball. He gets boot to the ball. The ball is gathered. He gets his hands on the footy. Crouch, a good drummer. The spilled ball is collected. Hastily kicked. McIntosh slams it on the boot. Cochin gets the upper hand. Kicks it. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. A nice running mark. Kick by Brown. Nice mark under pressure. McIntosh kicks. Edwards presents and takes the mark. Jams it on the boot now. Nice mark there. Boots it. Wins the hardball. That had some power behind it. Nice mark there. Crouch feeds it wide. Crouch from behind. A tense finish to the match. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between the Crows and Richmond? A few good performances and some really exciting moments. Cheers, Richo. At the end of the match, the scores are the Crows, 36, took the Tigers, 32. Well, that's it from us. Thanks for joining us, Richo. It was great being here, Dennis. I can't wait for the next match. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.